In this episode, I want to talk to you about a topic that's incredibly important for your privacy and data security. We're going to talk about why you should opt out of the sharing of CPNI data and why that seemingly simple annual email from your mobile phone provider is more significant than you think. So let's dive right in. First things first, what is CPNI? Well, CPNI stands for Customer Proprietary Network Information, and it refers to the information generated by your use of telecommunication services. This includes things like phone numbers you've called, phone calls you've received, the time and date of those calls, and even your location data. Your mobile phone provider uses CPNI data for billing and account management, service improvement, fraud prevention, and of course, for marketing and promotions. It's essentially a goldmine of your personal information when it comes to your mobile phone usage. What you may find interesting is that the biggest mobile phone providers in the U.S., Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile, all have vague definitions of what's considered CPNI data. So, for example, with T-Mobile, they say they collect phone numbers called, date and time of calls, number of minutes on call, phone-related purchases like call waiting and international calling. Verizon states that CPNI data includes services purchased, including specific calls you make and receive, related local and toll billing information, the type, destination, technical configuration, location, and amount of use of purchased services. AT&T is the most vague and states, CPNI is information about your telecommunications services from us, like the plan you subscribe to and details about who you've called, but your telephone number, name, and address are not CPNI. Now, you might have noticed that your mobile phone provider sends you an email once a year about opting out of CPNI data sharing. You might be tempted to ignore it, but I strongly recommend against that. This email is crucial because it's your opportunity to take control of your data and protect your privacy. Keep in mind, the Federal Communications Commission actually requires that your mobile phone provider obtain your consent before sharing your CPNI data. So why should you opt out of CPNI? Well, when you don't opt out, your mobile phone provider can share your CPNI data with their parent companies, affiliates, and agents. Yes, you heard that right. They can give away your call history, your phone usage, and even your location information to these companies. And guess what? These affiliates use that data to target you with ads, promotions, and other marketing materials. For example, if you're an AT&T customer, if you don't opt out of CPNI, DirecTV, who happens to be an AT&T affiliate, can target you with ads and other marketing materials. So here's the thing. Your personal data should be just that, personal. You shouldn't have to worry about who has access to your call history or where you've been. Opting out of CPNI is one way to reclaim control over your own information. So how do you opt out? Well, depending on your mobile phone provider, it can be fairly straightforward or a pain in the First, when you receive that annual CPNI email from your mobile phone provider, read it carefully. They will provide you with instructions on how to opt out. Typically, it involves clicking a link or sending a response to a designated email address. But depending on your provider, it can get a little more complicated. So let's talk about the opt-out procedures for each of the three largest mobile phone providers. First up is AT&T, and it's pretty easy. Just go to att.com slash consent slash CPNI. Put in your billing account number and zip code, and you're done. For Verizon, it's a little more complicated. First, you'll need to go to verizonwireless.com slash myverizon. You'll then need to follow some navigation instructions from there to actually opt out. Alternatively, you can also opt out by calling 1-800-333-9956 and follow the recorded directions. Or you can call 1-800-922-0204 to reach a customer service representative who can process your opt-out for you. And lastly, for T-Mobile. Go to tmobile.com slash privacy dash center slash education slash phone dash privacy for more details on how to opt out by logging into their privacy dashboard. Be sure to check out this episode's show notes for links to all of these instructions.
Opting out of CPNI data sharing is a small action that can make a big difference in protecting your privacy. Don't let your personal information be used for marketing without your consent. Take that email from your mobile phone provider seriously and opt out to keep your data where it belongs with you. Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this episode helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. And as always, stay safe and stay private. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching or listening to this episode. If you'd like to help support the podcast and get early access to new episodes with no ads, plus many more exclusive benefits, become an official supporter of the podcast for only $5 a month. Visit sharedsecurity.net slash supporter for more details.